Hi guys, welcome to this video which is looking at the difference between strong and weak acids. So if we jump straight into what the difference between them is, it would be important to know some examples. So if you think of a strong acid, think sulfuric, nitric or hydrochloric acid. If you think a weak acid, think citric, ethanoic and carbonic acid. Now the difference between the two is their ability to dissociate, which means break down into their ions. A strong acid will fully ionize, so it will dissociate completely into H plus ions and then whatever the other anion is, like Cl minus. Weak acids, on the other hand, do not ionize fully, so they don't fully break down into H plus ions. Now, in the previous video, we talked about concentration, and the fact the higher the concentration of H plus ions means you have a lower pH and a stronger acid. So, if we talk about strong acids like hydrochloric acid, which fully ionize, they break down into H plus ions, there's lots of them. So it's a lot easier to have a high concentration, therefore it's a lot easier to have a lower pH. Weak acids, like ethanoic acid as you can see here, because only a small part of it ionizes, you have in general a lower concentration. Now it's important to note that the chemical properties, the reactivity of an acid, depends on both the type of acid, so how strong or weak it is, and the concentration of the acid. So if you have a weak acid but a high concentration, it can still be highly reactive. And if you have a strong acid but a diluted one, then that might have a lower reactivity. It all comes down to both. So you need to, if you're talking about how to make reactivity faster, you need to talk about the strength of the acid as well as the concentration of the H plus ions in there. Let's have a look at a few questions then. So question one says, a group of students added similar pieces of magnesium metal to two different acidic solutions. One of them was hydrochloric acid and the other one ethanoic acid. So your first question is, which acid is classed as a strong acid? So either hydrochloric or ethanoic for one mark. Question two, they expected the strong acid to produce more hydrogen gas after one minute, but they found out that the same amount of gas has been produced. Name the other factor that can affect the reactivity and pH of an acid. So, in particular, the pH, the pH here, what is it that can change that pH? Question three, using ideas of strong and weak acids, as well as concentrated and dilute acids, which is a clue for question two, explain how the reactivity of these different acids could be the same. This is a four marker, so you need to think about, one's a strong, one's a weak acid. How, if you've got a strong and a weak acid, how can you make that reactivity the same? What have they had to do? Have a go at it, and we'll go through it and mark it in a little while. Let's have a look through then. So question one, which is your strong acid? Nice and simply, hydrochloric. So you get one mark for saying hydrochloric acid is your strong acid. Question two, the other factor that can affect reactivity and pH, the clue is in question three, concentration. If you'd said how dilute or concentrated the acid is, you still get the mark. So the concentration affects reactivity. Moving on to question three then. Now this was the tough one. This is the one that says, using ideas of strong and weak acids, as well as concentrated and dilute acids, explain how the reactivity of these different acids could be the same. So I'm going to run through the mark scheme with you and show you all the different things you could have put. What this does, it brings in everything from this video and the previous video in the series, all into one question. So, the reactivity of the acid depends on the strength and the concentration. So that is pulling together the information from questions one and two. Strength and concentration affect reactivity. Talking about concentration, the higher the concentration, the more hydrogen ions there are. The ORA here means all the reverse argument. So lower concentration means less hydrogen ions. If you've got a higher concentration of hydrogen ions, it's more reactive. Again, the reverse argument, so a lower concentration is less reactive. You could have also said strong acid molecules completely dissociate. So remember that dissociate means break down. So dissociate into their ions when they dissolve. And again, your reverse argument, your weak acid molecules don't completely dissociate into ions when they dissolve. Another marking point, a strong acid will contain a higher concentration of H plus ions than a weak acid of the same concentration. So there's that comparison there between the two. And then finally, to have the same reactivity the concentration of ethanoic acid must be high and the concentration of hydrochloric acid must be low. 
You could have also said the hydrogen ion concentration must be the same to make reactivity the same. Okay, that pretty much brings this video to an end. There is a review question, which is, using examples, describe the difference between a strong and weak acid. After that, it should be nice and straightforward for you. That ends this video. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe down below. And you can also find out more information on my website, mrbarnstc.com, and Facebook and Twitter.